After Hillary face plants in front of everyone, she goes live to make shocking NFL announcement. Hillary Clinton is back in the news again, after leaving the American people alone for a little bit after her stunning defeat to President Donald Trump last November. Instead of Hillary slinking off into an unknown cave she has written a book entitled What Happened which is pretty much a pathetic attempt to shirk responsibility rather than blaming herself for the loss. Over the past several weeks, Hillary Clinton has been found on the talk show circuit plugging her sob story and taking jabs at President Trump, and yesterday was no different. After Hillary Clinton arrived in London to go live on a British television show she reportedly took nasty fall which resulted in her breaking her toe. Instead of Hillary Clinton cancelling her television appearance she persisted so she could make this shocking statement about the NFL protests. It should come as no surprise to anyone in the country that Hillary Clinton is not a fan of the United States, and her record proves it. Over the years, Hillary Clinton has taken a much more progressive stance on a myriad of issues in an effort to gain voter base. Clinton has been actively involved with the feminist movement, LGBT issues, and of course, her fight to socialize our healthcare in the country. While all of those policies have had an adverse effect on our country, it has paled in comparison to her utter disrespect and contempt for our nation's military and veterans. While promoting her book overseas, Hillary Clinton decided to weigh in on the NFL national anthem protests, and of course, she took the side of these anti-American players. Here is more from Fox News. Hillary Clinton on Sunday defended NFL players who knelt during the national anthem saying kneeling is a reverent position that is not against our anthem or our flag. The former Democratic presidential candidate, who was at the South Bank Center's London Literature Festival, urged Democrats to use the issue against President Trump. Clinton was embarking on a foreign trip to promote her book What Happened. She said people should resist what are very clear dog whistles to the Trump base, pointing to the example of kneeling NFL players. That's what black athletes kneeling was all about, she said in response to a question about ways to resist the White House. That's not against our anthem or our flag. Actually, kneeling is a reverent position, she continued. It was to demonstrate in a peaceful way against racism and injustice in our criminal system. Clinton urged the Democratic Party to continue to resist the president, saying I think it would be a grave error for Democrats to recede from those fights so therefore we have to stand up, fight back, resist. Clinton went on to compare the alleged Russian interference in the 2016 presidential elections to the September 11th terrorist attack. We have really well-respected security and intelligence veterans saying this was a kind of cyber 9-11 in the sense that it was a direct attack to American institutions, she said. That may sound dramatic, but we know they try to recruit into election systems not just social media propaganda. Now, it is no shocker that Hillary Clinton would take this position on the national anthem protests occurring in the NFL. Clinton is only interested in promoting things that will divide the country rather than heal it, and what better way to continue that division than by siding with NFL players who spit in the face of our nation's heroes. Not only in this statement did Hillary Clinton side with these disrespectful NFL players, but essentially she called all of Trump's supporters racists because we do not agree with their horrible antics on the field. But, also there was another underlying message from Clinton sent to those in the black community. Clinton said in this interview that the criminal justice system in America is indeed racist against the black community and that this is why they are protesting. Well. That seems to be a far cry from how Hillary Clinton felt years before when she had an entirely different stance. In fact, back in 1996, Hillary Clinton referred to black gang members as super predators who need to be brought to heel in support of criminal sentencing reforms. Now, that is quite the flip-flop on the issue of the American criminal justice system and the black community, wouldn't you say? What this all boils down to is that Hillary Clinton is an opportunist and will say whatever she thinks will garner the most public support. Just think how lucky we are not to have this woman as President of the United States considering her lack of any moral convictions and sense of decency.
It is obvious that Hillary Clinton would side with anyone that would cause the country more issues rather than stand up and promote unity so that our country can really heal. Heal.